Good evening. Just a quick update. Uh, as you know, I've been using a K80 and it worked for a while and then I was having trouble with it. It wasn't working anymore. And I finally figured out what's going on. Uh, the K80 is not a supported product for the NVIDIA drivers that I need in order to power my TI, uh, my, my 1050 TI. So I have to run the 1050 TI so that I have graphics. And uh, because there, there are no onboard graphics on the, the chip I have. It's a uh, AMD Ryzen chip and therefore there's no onboard graphic uh, at least on this particular one that I have uh, it's a Ryzen 5 it's not a uh, APU it's uh, it's just a CPU and consequently uh, that has to be in and then if I put the K80 in and I try to up date the drivers or install NVIDIA drivers, the installation fails because the K80 is not supported. So uh, what's to be done? Well, you take the K80 out and then you do the installation or the upgrade. And then when you're done, you put the K80 back in and it runs fine. Uh, so even though the driver will complain as it's installing if you have a K80 in there. If you don't have the K80 in there, it doesn't complain. And when you put the K80 in there, it runs just fine. So let's take a look at that uh, quickly. Just run out to the desktop here. And uh, let's see, I've got, a, I've got a window here. Let's maximize this. And let's make it big enough to be able to be seen. And so I can do a Python 3, right? and then uh, import torch. And then we can just uh, do this is available, and you'll see it's true. And then we can do the device name, and it's the test the K80. Uh, so Everything works fine now, but if I do another upgrade and it tries to upgrade the NVIDIA driver, uh, this Tesla K80 is going to stop working. So what's to be done? Uh, I, I just have to take the, uh, the K80 out when I do uh, uh, NVIDIA driver updates. So if I'm not sure how to how to check that in advance to see if the driver is going to be upgraded uh, when I do uh, an overall system upgrade, I suppose that probably will, that what will happen is I'll just do the pseudo apt upgrade, and then the uh, this device will stop working. Uh, and when that happens, I'll have to go in and uninstall the driver and then, you know, take the card out, uninstall the driver, reinstall the driver, and it should start working okay. Uh, I have been looking for a method, and if you, if you know how to do this, please let me know, uh, how to disable that K80, the PCIe slot, uh, before an upgrade. Because if I can uh, disable the slot, uh, then uh, the card won't be seen during the upgrade process. Uh, and that would mean I wouldn't have to open the case up, take the card out, and blah, 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 which is a big pain in the neck. I might be able to do it within the BIOS, but I'm hoping that it can be done uh, via the operating system. Anyway, if you have any ideas on this, I would appreciate you letting me know. Uh, if you are a, a K80 owner, I hope this uh, helps you. And I think that this will also be true with Windows. Uh, I've read a number of things by people who have 
purchased K80, they put it in their Windows box, it worked fine, and then it stopped working. They haven't been able to figure out how to get it working again. Well, this is the reason when the upgrade process runs, uh, when you try to install NVIDIA drivers, it says, oh, you have a K80 in there. That's a, you know, that's a Tesla. That's not supported, so I'm going to fail. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's what happens. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful, uh, and I thank you for joining me.